Actress Kerry Washington may be notoriously private about her personal life, but we do know she has quite the real estate portfolio. Not only is her main residence an incredible compound in Los Angeles with a magical garden, she also leases an elegant apartment in Manhattan overlooking the Hudson River. In this video, we'll check out a few of Carrie's properties, both past and present. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Carrie Washington is an actress best known for playing Olivia Pope on the drama series Scandal, as well as for her role on the show Little Fire everywhere, having been nominated for multiple awards over the years. Being one of the highest paid TV actresses, it should come as no surprise, her net worth is estimated to be $50 million or more. When she's not working, Carrie likes to take time away from the limelight at her luxury homes with her husband and children. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive hoster here in Famous Entertainment, this one looking at where award winning actress Carrie Washington lives. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. First, we'll check out Carrie's former spread in Hollywood Hills, which she listed in 2015. She and her husband purchased it in 2014 for $1.8 million, only to sell it about two years later for $2.68 million. The French country compound was gorgeous, spanning 3,855 square feet inside with five beds and 5.5 baths. The home had a gated driveway and there were also several flights of outdoor steps leading to the front door from the street. The entryway had a tight curved staircase and the home itself was originally built in the 1920s and refreshed by Carrie and her family while they lived there too. The main residence boasted crisp white walls and dark wood floors leading from the main foyer into the step down living room boasting plenty of space, a TV mounted fireplace as well as a picture window with views out to the canyon. Nearby, the dining room had glass doors out to a petite stone terrace and connected to a compact galley style kitchen with pricey stainless steel appliances. There was also a humbly sized casual dining space in the kitchen tucked into a wall of windows. Upstairs, Carrie's former home had three family bedrooms as well as the master suite which boasted a sitting area with views of the Hollywood sign. There was also a marble tiled ensuite bath and a dressing room with built in wardrobes and additional storage. The hillside property offered a two car garage with fitness room and yoga studio and bathroom built on top, as well as a separate guest house, boasting one bed, one bath, a full kitchen and living room with floor to ceiling corner windows. Honestly, I would be fine just living in that guest house. I love the unique layout of Carrie's former property and aside from those structures, there were amenities out back like a handful of terraces, a garden and rolling lawns. There were also stairs leading up to a pool with entertainment cabana, while the entire property was decked out with a top of the line home automation system and security system. In 2015, a newly renovated modern home in the upscale Beverly Hills post office neighborhood sold for over $5.4 million to Carrie and her husband. The property is well hidden at the end of a dead end street and a long gated driveway, while the mansion boasts a ton of amenities, including a car turntable in the middle of the motor court that you can't miss. Then in 2017, Carrie also purchased the traditional style house right next door for around $5 million in an off market deal, creating their own mini compound. A narrow driveway leads between the two neighboring homes and then you'll reach that motor court at the front of the main mansion with the concrete turntable, which was originally built in 1963. Walking in the main residence, a glass front door opens to a double height entryway with a modern glam chandelier. A glass divider separates the dining room which opens to the living room and sitting area. The main living room is sunny and open concept with light hardwood floors to match the staircase. This room has glass sliders to outside while all the interior spaces have views of the lush backyard. In Carrie's family kitchen there are expensive Thermador brand appliances as well as walnut cabinets and a large center island. The home is mini mansion size spanning 5,100 and 52 square feet of space with five bedrooms and 5.5 baths. I don't know about you guys, but that's more than enough space in my opinion. 
The actress has a master suite fit for a queen with forest-like views. Just wait until you see her garden and additions like a cozy fireplace and separate lounge or reading area. The attached marble bath is sprawling and has a marble walled shower and spa combo to match. The backyard is super private, ideal for a low key celeb like Carrie, and there's still space for a uniquely shaped swimming pool, grassy lawn, and barbecue area. Not to mention, during lockdown, she was posting photos from her enchanted garden, and it looks stunning. We can see Carrie was practicing yoga outside near trees and flower beds and her perfectly landscaped lawn. It seems the couple hasn't done anything with the next door traditional home, or at least not within the first year of requiring it. It could be a vacant space to add privacy, or maybe used as a guest house. While it isn't too much smaller than Carrie's main house, clocking in at 3,904 square feet of space with four beds and five baths, it's rocking a totally different look. It's not even close to being modern like the main residence, and it's a single level, red brick fronted home. It's double gated with a nice landscaped front garden, but the driveway is certainly not as cute. Features of this property include a compact kitchen with a hooded range, a living room with high beam ceilings, as well as a sloped backyard outside with a sheltered brick patio. They even found room for a pool. In some ways, looking at photos, this bungalow is actually nicer than the main house inside. At least, I think so. Carrie also rents a gorgeous New York City apartment on the Hudson River for when she stays on the East Coast. It was featured back in 2019 in Architectural Digest, and reportedly, the bare apartment was transformed in only a matter of weeks into a dream space for the actress and her family. Thanks to an open floor plan, there's a super spacious living and dining room combo, which Carrie has decorated with her children's artwork on the windows. As you enter Carrie's classic apartment, there are hues of black, white, and gray, as well as a ton of sunlight thanks to large windows throughout. The entry hall is decorated with a wooden table and large sculpted decor piece. Her hallway opens into an elegant living room with massive windows and high ceilings, and the space is divided into two identical sitting areas, both with dark accent cushions on crisp white couches. While the apartment follows a monochrome color scheme for the most part, the residence is still cozy, featuring large green planters in many corners, as well as earthy toned rugs. There's a big mirror in the dining area that expands the space, and another highlight of this room are the comfy revolving dining chairs that are a family favorite. Carrie explained that they only occasionally dine in here when they're feeling fancy. Most of the time, the family begins their day and ends their day in the kitchen, which boasts its own breakfast area situated right beside the dining room. Not only does the kitchen have top grade modern appliances, but there are colorful paper hearts stuck to the large windows on the other side of the room, which have been made by her kids. The round table is where the fam usually gathers to eat, but Miss Washington, well, she actually likes to sit at the kitchen bar. One of Carrie's prized possessions is also located in the kitchen, her Vitamix, which she makes her favorite smoothie with every morning. The common areas don't have any doors in between, which makes the New York apartment look even more sprawling and expansive. Considering Carrie grew up in the Bronx, she acknowledges her roots with wall art designed by her friend Portia de Rossi, which is a 3D printed painting with graffiti art that reminds the actress of her childhood. Tucked behind one of the doors in the apartment, you'll find the media room, which is a comfy space boasting an L-shaped cloud sofa, some faux fur, a wood coffee table, and some books. Finally, Carrie's master suite at her big city apartment also has amazing views through huge windows on two of the room's walls. Also decorated the space with a ton of crystals, which she loves, including some above her bed for positive energy. Between the charcoal colored walls, hardwood flooring, neutral tones, and reclaimed wood, Carrie's New York City apartment is an inviting and classy home away from home. All right guys, that concludes our Carrie Washington house tour. I'm not surprised that a sophisticated actress like her has the homes to match, that's for sure. From her former spread in Hollywood to her current LA compound and NYC apartment, Carrie seems to have it all, along with some seriously great design taste. Out of the three cribs, which was your favorite? I found it hard to choose, but I kind of liked her former Hollywood Hills mansion the best. Something about that French country vibe and the layout of the property. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Follow me over on Instagram to chat, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.